Hi, my name is Dr. Christina Van Barneveld. I'm an associate professor in the Faculty of Education here at Lakehead University. My area of expertise is educational measurement and evaluation. I grew up in a household where education was considered pretty important, even though my own parents did not go to university. So I would be considered a first generation learner where my generation in our family are the first ones who ever went to uh, experience higher education. When you think about educational measurement and evaluation, it's not one of those topics that children dream of in terms of a career. So I came about it in an, a winding way. I did an undergraduate degree in psychology and I took a statistics course as part of that degree. And my stats teacher was really great. He was nice. Um, and I was really scared to take the class because I thought it was something that would, might be too difficult for me. So, with the support of my professor, it turned out that I did pretty well. And so I was pleased with that accomplishment and that challenge. In my master's degree, one of my professors suggested that maybe I switch from my current degree, which was educational counseling, into educational measurement because I was good at it, but also for practical reasons, because I could get a job and uh, at the end of my degree I wanted to work and I really enjoyed uh, the challenge and the accomplishments associated with that degree. Educational measurement is really composed of three main areas, statistics, measurement theory, and program evaluation. And sometimes people are a little hesitant to get involved with those topics. They're a little bit foreign and it's possible that there might have been some experiences for students in the past where they didn't enjoy math that much or didn't excel in it particularly well. Statistics, specifically, is very applied and so the joy of statistics really is taking some of the technical parts, like the math parts, and linking it to real life problems and finding solutions. My current research focus in educational measurement and evaluation has to do with large-scale tests of students in Ontario. I got a research grant to study a particular test uh, of grade 9 students writing a math test. And what I do in that research is to collect information from various sources uh, to answer research questions about their experiences so we might understand uh, more about the tests and more importantly what they mean and how we can use the information to make improvements in education. The learning experience in this course is really positive and focused on making improvements in the school system. So what we do is take a look at what's going on currently, what information we have available, and then we start strategizing and planning what we could do and what we would recommend to do um, so that students in Ontario have a positive learning experience and each of them are successful. The larger approaches that educational measurement and evaluation fit into would be quantitative methods in general where information is collected and, and summarized in form of numbers and then that information is used to consider problems that are, exist in education or situations that we could improve on and then come up with recommendations on how to make improvements in schools and also in the province. I use a collaborative approach to my work because I find the research better. I get together with other subject matter experts as well as a group of students to talk about and make decisions about research that is important and could be beneficial to the students in Ontario and how well they learn. I love educational measurement and evaluation for a few reasons. Personally, I enjoy it. I find it challenging and that moment from going from not really understanding a particular situation to understanding, uh, that's a great feeling of achievement and the, that achievement could result in uh, positive, positive benefits in, for students in Ontario. But practically, uh, measurement and evaluation is important because des decisions in education get made based on large-scale 
uh, data sets of information about how students are doing and what teachers are doing and how schools are doing. And so all this information is used by decision makers to set goals. And so to be part of that process is important and enjoyable. It's important to make links between the statistics and the information that we have and real life situations and contexts. One example of that occurred in one of my classes which was focused on school improvement planning. My students in that course proposed two assignments, one of which was a physical representation of school improvement planning and growth in schools. So they took the data and evidence that we had reviewed in class and transformed it and interpreted it into a mural. And as a group, we created a mural to represent our model of school improvement planning that focuses on growth and inclusion and diversity. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. It was a privilege for me to be able to talk about my work and what I do. If you have any questions, please contact Faculty of Education at Lakin University.